Now if we were to solve this equation, 3 to the power x then, times e to the 7x plus 2 equals 15, what we've got to do is take logs to both sides. I'm going to take logs in base e, so that's given by ln, okay, natural log. So if we do that, we therefore have ln, okay, the natural log of 3 to the power x e to the 7x plus 2 equals the natural log of 15. Now here we've got a product, okay, you've got essentially something times something else. And you should know the product rule for logs, okay, if you've got the log in any base, okay, let's say base C of A times B, this is exactly the same as the natural log or the log in base C for this example of A plus the log of B in base C. So we're dealing with logs in base E. So what we can do here is using this rule, say that this is therefore the same as the natural log of 3 to the power x plus the natural log of e to the power 7x plus 2. And then that's equal to this term on the end here, the natural log of 15. Now we can simplify this further we can use the power rule for logs, okay? When you have a power, this is the same as bringing the power out the front of the log, okay? So we can say that the, this term is the same as x times the natural log of 3. Now with this one, you can do the same if you like. You can bring the 7x plus 2 out to the front and you would have 7x plus 2 times the natural log of e. But you should know the natural log of E is 1. And some of you might not have even done this, okay, and just written 7x plus 2. Because if you've got E to a power, then it's always the same as just that power. So either way, whether you do it like this and change this to a 1, okay, you're going to end up with essentially 7x plus 2. And then we've got this term here, natural log of 15. So we've got an equation now where we've got the x's here. We've got no powers anymore. So what we need to do is group the x terms on one side and take non-x terms to the other. I can do away with this bracket if you like now. Okay, It doesn't have to be there because we've got a plus out here so we can remove that. And so all I need to do is subtract 2 from both sides. So therefore we have x times the natural log of 3 plus 7x okay, is equal to natural log of 15 minus 2. Now I don't want that to look like the natural log of 13, 15 take 2. So what I'm going to do is write the minus 2 in front of the natural log so it doesn't look ambiguous. Okay, So we'll do that. Now we'll factorize the left hand side and we get x bracket natural log of 3 plus 7 okay and this looks ambiguous really it could look like it's the natural log of 10 so I'm going to swap that round okay I think I'll do that now all right so that doesn't look great so we'll change that to 7 plus the natural log of 3 so we don't see it as the natural log of 7 out of 7 out of 3 log of 10 okay then we got minus 2 plus the natural log of 15 now all I need to do is divide both sides then by 7 plus natural log of 3 and we end up with minus 2 plus the natural log of 15 all divided and be careful here make sure your division line goes right beyond this minus here don't put your division line just there okay otherwise this minus is leaking over the edge carry that right the way across so it's clear that that minus is in this division here and it'd be over 7 plus the natural log of 3 all right. Well, that gives us the exact value then of x. So that brings us to the end of this part of the question.